All right, sports fans, so this is my league. And the big league blitz ranked third. I moved up one because I won last week. Um, second in overall points, but I'm like 114 points behind the leader. I don't think there's enough time to catch up with beer green mules. Those guys are just monsters. But I'm second in division, and I'm looking good for playoffs here. Things would really have to go south. So let's take a look at our team and see if there's any modifications that we can make here. So we got a good matchup against Cincinnati. It looks like in Cincinnati, Jameis Winston and um, Deshaun Watson are our quarterbacks. Let's take a look, look at Scout Fantasy and see what the rankings are at quarterback. Um, Jameis Winston's number seventh. Sean Watson, number nine. So it looks like a wash there. I'm going to go with Jameis Winston because Cincinnati just got torched, torched last week by <clears throat> the Chiefs, and I'm hoping that maybe that'll be a repeat. I got TJ Yeldon and Christian McCaffrey and Philip Lindsay as running backs. Let's see where the running backs are. Philip Lindsay. McCaffrey and Yeldon in that order. So I'm going to go with, I'm going to bench Yeldon and put McCaffrey in there. No, yeah. And submit that. And then that's good because Yeldon's actually playing. Uh, I'm sorry, put Lindsay in there because Yeldon's actually playing. Philadelphia has a pretty tough defense against the run, second fewest. And Lindsay's playing against the Chiefs, who give up second most. And McCaffrey's playing <laughs> Baltimore, who doesn't like the run at all. Okay, that's fine. Here's my problem. Uh, Cooper Cup was hurt last week and did not play. So what I could do is put Yeldon in as my flex, which I normally like a wide receiver in the flex. But And here's the other thing. Mark. Marquise Goodwin uh, sucked last week, and Keenan Allen's on a bye. So I'm really interested in looking at a possible wide receiver uh, waiver wire pick here. Let's see if there's anybody that's available. I'm guessing all those guys are taken. I'm guessing that Kenny Galladay. I don't, I don't know him, but I'm pretty sure somebody picked him up already. Let's see who the uh, wide receivers are that are available. Jackson, wide receiver. Amendola. Marvin Jones. Tyler Lockett I dropped last week to pick up uh, Dum Dum. Sammy Watkins is uh, available. So Galladay doesn't look like he's available. Tyler Boyd. John Brown. I don't like Ravens, but John Brown. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor Gabriel? No, oh, Tyler Boyd. Oh, okay. Hmm. Jordy Nelson is available. Let's read the news on Jordy. Could see increase because Nelson will serve as number one outside receiver against the Colts because Mari Cooper went to Dallas. So, temper it with struggling Derek Carr. You know what, though? I don't know. Derek was on a bye, so he's probably getting healed. I kind of like that. I think I'm going to pick up Jordy. Yeah, I'm going to pick up Jordy Nelson. So let's put in a waiver wire request for Jordy Nelson. And we will drop Marquis Goldwyn. Goodwin, because I, I just don't. I don't know. He's streaky. He's one of those guys who either gets like a 75-yard touchdown or doesn't get anything. I don't even know where he is on the rankings here. Demarius Thomas. Oh, 
Marvin Jones, Robbie Anderson, Tyler Lockett. So these guys are all in the same area here. But here's what's killing me is I'm not seeing the Andre Hopkins or Cooper Cup. Oh, there's Hopkins. Okay, great. Good. Um, I'm not seeing Cooper Cup on here at all. Here's Goodwin. So Goodwin's still underneath all these guys. So I'm glad that I'm going to pick them one of them up. Is Keelan, Keelan Cole available? Let's see about Keelan Cole. I don't think I saw him. Wide receiver projections. Um, nope. Where's Sammy Watkins on this list? 44. Kind of like him. But not against Denver's defense. Never mind. No, I don't like him that much. Robbie Anderson against Chicago. I don't like that. Marvin Jones against Seattle, maybe. Tyler Lockett against Detroit, maybe. I like those matchups. So those are a backup plan. All right. So they're playing Seattle at home. Marvin Jones, Tyler Lockett. All right, I'm going to go with a backup plan here of, I don't know, man. Let's see what Jones is doing. He was only targeted four times. Jeez. No, 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 definitely not Jones. Let's see what Lockett's doing. Yeah, he gets double digits usually. All right, let's pick him up as a backup. We'll drop Goodwin. Goodwin's at Arizona, though. Arizona sucked last week. They just got torched. I don't know, man. Too volatile. That's a great matchup. He's too volatile. All right, let's do that. Let's put that request in. Go with Lockett. Lockett's pretty safe money, I think. Got a low floor. All right. I think I'll put Yeldon in the in the uh, slot here <clears throat> for the. Um, sorry, I'm getting tired. Um, yeah, for the uh, flex. Uh, the Bears against the Broncos against the Chiefs. Chiefs are scoring a lot of points. The Broncos defense was amazing last week. I don't know. Maybe the we will go with the Bears against against the Jets, I think. Jared Cook. Oh, let's take a look at uh, who's a better uh, TE. According to the rankings this week, Jared Cook. And then Kyle Rudolph. So we'll, we'll get Jared Cook in there. So if I do pick up Jordy Nelson, I got Jared Cook and Jordy Nelson. So and that's putting <clears throat> a lot of faith in Derek Carr, and I don't have a lot of faith in Derek Carr. So I don't know if that's good or not. Chicago, we'll play Chicago. All right. So Chicago over Denver. So that's our lineup as of now. If we get Jordy Nelson, yeah, 
against Indianapolis. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know. I like Jordy Nelson, but... Hmm. Hmm. How far high up the ranking is Jordy Nelson? That's a running backs. Um, one second, we'll find out. 24th, scoring 14.9 points as opposed to... Thirteen point two. Yeah, we'll see if we can pick him up. And we'll keep it out of somebody else's hands, and maybe we can do that. Um, right now, the matchup looks like this. Clever name, hot huh? huge erection. Very nice. And it looks like we're torching him. And he's got his lineup set, and that's great because Julio Jones and uh, Gordon are on a bye, which is great. So, All right, looking good. So that's the uh, lineups for this week, and um, I hope you all have a great day out there. Like, share, and subscribe.